What's happening? Jason here. So it's been, I don't know, two weeks since I did a video. So anyways, let me just update you real quick because I was all excited. If you watch the videos, if you follow them at all, I've been doing insanity. And I was all excited because I've been just, I mean, focused, prioritized, scheduled, and I've just been showing up and getting them done. Well, if you've been following, you know I just moved. This is my new apartment. I'm in Tucson, Arizona now, uh, no longer in Florida. Took about five days, drove cross country, did all kinds of crazy things. That's not what this is about. Um, but I'm happy to report, as far as the move, um, during those five days on the road, actually somehow I found it incredibly easy to get my workouts in. I would either do them in the morning, first couple days I did them in the morning, got them done, and then just hit the road and, and drove like eight hours or so. Some days I drove less, some days I drove a little bit more. Uh, last couple days, I ended up doing my workouts uh, around 9 p.m. or so, sometimes 10 p.m. in my hotel room. So I just I kept getting a hotel every night, doing my workouts, popping the DVD in the uh, in, in my laptop, and it's insane how easy it is to do insane insanity uh, when you're when you're on the road, when you're on the go, because there's no extra equipment. It's just I mean straightforward. You just need a little bit of space so you can you know do your your movements and stuff. You guys know if you've done it, gals, whatever. Um, so however. I failed. I mean, it's straightforward there. I unfortunately, I didn't get perfect run through the schedule. I still have, uh, shoot, I don't know what day today is. I'll show you in a sec here. I want to show you what I did, why I did it, why I failed, and why it was necessary, and how I've been able to recover and, and continue moving forward uh, to complete the schedule. Though, unfortunately, it's not 100%. It's more like probably 95%. I'll show you what I did. So I moved, right? What's funny is I finally missed a day. And why it's funny is because I stuck to my schedule the entire move cross country. I've got my car, I have no house, and somehow I'm still getting my workouts in. Um, even though I'm on the road driving for eight, 10 hours, I'm exhausted. But that's part of leading up to why I failed on doing 100% of the schedule. So, well, we're in the max workout. So let me just show you the calendar here, uh, if you can see. I will try to describe briefly what I did. So I did good in, I, I haven't even colored it in or anything, but I did good. Obviously, first week was great. Second week, fine. You can see max interval circuit there. See it right there. May 15th, that's the day I left. Okay, that is the day I left Florida. Um, did perfect all the way through here. Uh, I did fine. This is kind of weird. It's backwards. Uh, here, this was the day I screwed. Okay, I screwed this up. This was actually the first day I had my apartment. Um, but I ended up uh, checking out some of the area here, hanging out with friends, showed me. And um, well, I just didn't get to it. All right, I just, just, it just didn't have time. Just didn't fit in. I know that's an excuse. It is what it is. But um, so I didn't do the workout this day. Then what I ended up doing Tuesday, I did the fit test, all right, which I don't have it sitting around here, which I did better uh, overall than any of the others. I'll show you once I do an overall wrap up, oops, wrap up. So I did just the fit test on Tuesday. Wednesday, I did max interval circuit. Um, then I did um, the max plyo here, and then the cardio condition, cardio abs here. Um, and then from there, uh, actually this day, let me see, 24th, this was the day I hit the road and went to um, went to LA, I had a seminar. So I literally had just these couple days to relax for a second, unload my car in my apartment, hit the road again, eight hours, drove to LA, got this, this workout in, not this particular one, uh, got the workout I just showed you in. Then Friday, um, things just started to go to shit, all right? I just... I was exhausted after this. These couple weeks of driving, I had um, I had no more than six hours of sleep a night, which is fine for a little while, but for almost two weeks. Um, the day that I left for LA, right, um, where the hell is it? Right here. On, excuse me. On Thursday, um, Wednesday night, I went out um, and I had two hours of sleep. So I stayed up pretty much all night. Had some drinks. A little bit more than I should have. <laughs> it's a good time though. Uh, and then I finished the night with top shelf tequila. We'll just say that much. Thursday, uh, so I still got the workout in this day, but then this day not so much. This day not so much. So basically I ended up, what I missed was max cardio recovery. I missed max interval circuit. And I mixed, missed, excuse me, core cardio and balance. 
So the, I missed three workouts basically, but because I had to, I mean, seriously, I mean, the, the Monday I didn't have to miss it, but that was kind of the start of, of what was happening to me. And physically, I was not eating enough calories. I mean, on the move, uh, I'd eat in the morning, go all day, and then at night I'd get a meal. So typically it was Cracker Barrel in the morning and have like the sunrise sampler, so all kinds of like primal stuff. Nighttime I'd have Subway, this is already gone more than five minutes, but whatever. So I had uh, a Subway at night, like a foot long sandwich. So I mean, during the day, not much, terrible eating, um, not enough calories. Wasn't really bonking during my workouts, but with the lack of sleep, and then I just showed you I had that two hours of sleep that night. Then I went to a three day seminar um, which was good and bad all at the same time. I don't know. I'm not going to get into that. But it uh, the first two days, I mean, about eight, nine hours each day in the seminar and then just getting more and more and more exhausted. I mean, I'm telling you, just the lack of sleep and the, the just the screwing with my, my – I'm used to typically eating when I was in Florida five, six meals a day. When I was eating like two meals a day, it was really starting to get to me. Sunday on um, – this day here, Saturday, Sunday, this day, Sunday, um, I hit a wall. I mean, I hit, I was pissed all day. I was just in a bad mood. Uh, I was tired. I was hungry. I was not having a good time. All right. Uh, it just, that was it. Actually, I, I, I mean, I paid for this seminar, but come to the last day, I stayed up until about an hour before lunch. Wasn't really enjoying what was going on with the seminar thing. I was like, you know what? Screw this. Tired. I'm hungry. Um, I'm very irritated, which is not usually me unless I'm tired and hungry. So I was just like, "Screw this!" I'm driving back. I got in my car and I just drove back the eight and a half hours to uh, to Tucson here, and just friggin' crashed for 13 hours. I mean, straight up, got back, crashed out 13 hours, slept straight through. Uh, which is what exactly what I needed, and I, I kind of got back on track. So to wrap this video up, just to, I, this is just to show you where I'm at and how I screwed this week entirely. But why I did it? I mean, literally, if I had tried to push play, if I had attempted to get these workouts in, I probably would have done more harm than good because my body was just so freaking ridiculously tired. You may be there sometimes too. Sometimes when you're just so exhausted. And you think that, you know, oh, I just need to get my workout in. If you're already, I mean, if you're at a, a point where you're so exhausted that the thought of working out just makes you, you want to die, don't do it. I mean, there, there's a point, you know, and you know, don't, don't say, oh, Jason said I don't have to work out because I'm a little bit tired. You know, I work today, whatever. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying this stuff built up over two weeks. I got to a point where it was just, I was either going to work out and make myself sick like literally physically sick, injure myself. My body wasn't recovering. I was just getting progressively more and more and more sore, meaning my body was not getting the sleep and the rest and the recover it needed to repair, minus the calories, I wasn't even eating those either. So I was just screwing myself basically. So, um, but I did good up until the first two weeks here. It was just this one week was the only week that was screwed. This week, I'm, I'm perfectly fine, uh, Monday, did that, did that. I'm, I'm on track. Now we're up to Thursday today, which is actually a really easy day, core cardio balance. So it was just this week I screwed just these last three workouts, the only ones I didn't do. Um, and then, so I got core cardio balance today, then these two workouts, and then Sunday, fit test, day 63 of insanity, and I'm done. And you know what? I'm loving it. I definitely, I mean, my calories where they were, I know I didn't eat enough to build up anything. So my body size has stayed just about the same. Um, my core has gotten pretty nice though. Um, I'm like anyways, I mean, I can get a little more body fat, but it's it's solid as shit. So <laughs> that's what I like. Um, anyways, that's, uh, I've been swearing a lot in this video, huh? So that's my update. I've got what, uh, one, two, three, four more days of insanity and so like 95%, I don't know the actual statistic, 95% I'm gonna say completed on the schedule um, and I feel amazing. Uh, the max workouts are not nearly as challenging as they used to be, which is great. And here's what I've done. Uh, because I prioritize my fitness so much with doing insanity, even moving cross country, I got the workouts in, come on. Uh, what excuses do you have? I mean, are you on the road every single day? You might be. And the thing is, I know some people, including myself, I got it in on those five days on the road. I know some people um, that, that travel for a living and get their workouts in every day. So don't tell me just because you're tired because you worked an eight-hour day at work. Yeah, I understand. I used to do that too. 
but just don't let that be an excuse for skipping your workouts um, unless you are hitting a wall like I did. I mean, there's there's a point where you just know physically you're either going to injure yourself or you just need to rest. So uh, with that, I've already scheduled. I've already got myself scheduled up until November uh, after Insanity because I was going to go right into Asylum, but I still am. But I'm going to do the P90X Asylum Hybrid. I kind of made my own a little bit because I want to work a little bit more chest. Uh, I'm going to incorporate some of the P90X workouts and then, of course, some of the Asylum, which now that I've completed Insanity, well, almost, is I can really see where Asylum is definitely the follow-up program to Insanity. Don't start with Asylum. Insanity literally has the less advanced versions of what you're going to find in Asylum, which slows it down and uh, not necessarily slows it down, but brings it more isolated as far as the jump rope stuff and, and all these crazy moves. It's, it's Insanity on steroids. So um, start with Insanity, then do Insanity Asylum. Um, I'm going to do Insanity Asylum P90X hybrid. And then I've got Summit in, uh, in Nevada coming right up here in about three weeks, which I've already incorporated in my workout schedule. There's beach body workouts. I'll be working out with Shanti, Tony Horton. I'll be doing the uh, the super workout, which is all the trainers and thousands of people out there just working out. Last year was in LA, spreading out in the street over by the Staples Center. Ridiculous. So I've um, got that work to my schedule. Then that 30 days. Then what I do, July 1st, I'm going to start doing the. I'm going to do the 21 day beach body reset. Uh, very very important to. to give that, you know, that reset to my body, especially after going right from max workouts to another month of just crazy workouts. I'm going to take like three weeks and give my body that recovery time. You don't really work out. You just eat super freaking clean and just use some, uh, some good supplements to detox your body. So check it out. I will absolutely be doing a, like a challenge group when I do it. Uh, so I'll be updating that and of course inviting people that want to join and want to get started and want to cleanse yourself and want to go along with me. Um, first time for everybody. So after that, I'm going into pump for 90 days and I'm gonna do some more weights. So, hey, that's it. So, that's where I'm at. I know it's been a couple weeks since I did an update, and that's it. So, look forward to, um, well, I look forward to creating my review and just kind of showing more of just this whole journey uh, of insanity and, and how important this has been and how really easy, minus that last week where I was tired as crap, but how easy it's been where I set the priority of doing my workouts as opposed to just kind of being like, oh, I'm gonna do insanity. I'm like, I'm going to do insanity. So it's, it makes it so much easier to not skip workouts that way, um, unless you're overtired. So anyways, push play, do what it takes. Jason Crockett here, and I'll talk to you soon.